with vitamin C, which is also referred to as ascorbic acid. I know that this is one of our favorite must-have ingredients. Well, vitamin C or ascorbic acid is really known for its brightening effect. Vitamin C actually reduces the production of melanin. That's why it is really great to fade away our acne scars or acne marks. One of the other main functions is exfoliation. It removes dead skin cells so that it makes our skin much softer and smooth. And also this helps to, how should I say, uh, let the other ingredients afterwards soak in much better into our skin. And it also produces a ceramide, which is an excellent excellent. Uh, excellent, so great to just strengthen your skin's barrier. It's also known as antioxidant factor, so it's great for your skin um, to put on after your skin has been damaged by the sun rays or even after laser treatment. So basically, vitamin C will help to reduce the inflammatory symptoms. As much as it's such an excellent ingredient, it's a little bit tricky at the same time because Vitamin C is very sensitive to sun rays and heat. So you probably have uh, heard it a lot from us to always saying, hey, put the vitamin C serum in the fridge or in a shaded area or somewhere that has cooling temperature because it can be easily oxidized, not just the color itself, but the effect as well. And it can even irritate your skin if you use the oxidized, the changed product. And vitamin C is also great for after sun care, so that's why you should use it at nighttime for night routine. So if you wear vitamin C at nighttime, in the morning time, make sure that you rinse it off with water and plus use a very mild cleansing you know, um, foam or cleanser to get the vitamin C off for your day to go, okay? Those of you who don't listen to us and you know who really, really want to use vitamin C ingredient in the morning time too, then don't forget to, please don't forget to wear sunblock, okay? So I'm going to talk about the ingredients that you should not use with vitamin C. The first ingredient that you should not use with vitamin C is AHA and BHA. As you all know, vitamin C has a lot of exfoliating ingredients inside and typically all the products inside, it has highly concentrated vitamin C in it. If you use this AHA, BHA, which also has an exfoliating ingredient, it's going to be over exfoliate your skin. Especially people with sensitive skins, it's going to really irritate your skin. Not use AHA, BHA with vitamin C. So this product, Pure Vitamin C 21.5 Advanced Serum, and this product, AHA, BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner, um, people with sensitive skins should avoid using them in one skincare routine. But still, if you want to use this product, just use it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, <laughs> likewise. The second don't is vitamin C with niacinamide. Niacinamide is type of vitamin B, which helps your skin to retain more moisture because it increases the production of ceramide in your skin. However, if this meets vitamin C, it changes the vitamin C color into yellow, which will look ugly. And this means that vitamin C has lost its effect. And also, this combination can irritate your skin again. And moreover, vitamin C and niacinamide works best in different pH levels, so it basically doesn't fit. I really recommend using these two ingredients in different skincare routines. However, you can see lots of products out there having niacinamide and vitamin C all together. However, you don't have to worry about these because the portion is well balanced, so it will have no problem when using it. However, if you have a sensitive skin, I prefer you to try it before buying it. The third don't is vitamin C with benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide is typically used when treating a acne. It's an oxidizing agent that kills bacteria on the skin surface, which causes acne. However, if vitamin C get oxidated, it will lose its effect and you will not be able to get the full effect of vitamin C. Also, it has a possibility which will irritate your skin. That is why you should not use vitamin C with benzoyl peroxide. So that's the reason why vitamin C products are typically in dark color containers and also in airtight packaging. If you want to cure your scars due to acne, you can use vitamin C. However, if you want to cure the acne itself, you should use the benzoyl peroxide. And the last don't is do not use vitamin C with collagen. As we all know, collagen is really good for our skin. So we eat collagen by eating pig skin or we also eat collagen pills a lot. So the collagen gives elasticity and also can rejuvenate your skin. However, if this meets vitamin C, it clots. So it gets hardened, so it cannot penetrate into your skin. If these products cannot 
go inside to your skin, what's the good having it? We should be aware that we should not use vitamin C with collagen. So again, try using them on different routines. It's gonna be how to brighten skin instantly. You can see we need to check through the camera if it really worked or not. So let's check right now. First, let me introduce you to five tips on how you can brighten your skin. Number one, making sure that your skin receives all the nutrients you have to exfoliate. Now, dead skin cells actually thicken over time to protect our skin. So if you leave those dead skin cells, it may be the reasons why our skin looks pretty, pretty, pretty darn dull. So the first thing you should do is to remove all the dead skin cells so that you can actually brighten your skin tone. And if you exfoliate your skin, whatever you put on afterwards, the following products, it will soak much better into your skin, making sure that these wonderful, fabulous ingredients from the products can help to brighten the overall skin tone. The second tip is using a sheet mask with a brightening effect. Now, using a sheet mask with a brightening effect will of course help you to brighten your skin tone. However, this is very, very necessary after you remove the dead skin cells. All the ingredients, as I mentioned, will be delivered directly to your skin so that it will help with the brightening. Overall, it's gonna allow to have that higher absorption rate of the fabulous brightening effects. From these ingredients, there's niacinamide, which is a very popular brightening ingredient. Of course, I know a lot of beauty gurus you out there know already. This helps to inhibit melanin pigmentation. So overall, this ingredient will help to brighten your skin tone. Use an essence that removes active oxygen to brighten your skin. Active oxygen is a bad and very harmful oxygen that makes us age and it damages our cells. And these active oxygens actually enters our body when we breathe. So it's actually near to impossible to avoid them because that's how they get into our bodies. Not only does it cause aging, but active oxygen actually is one of the causes for dual skin tones and it is responsible for our skin lacking elasticity also. So to enhance the brightening effect, you need to use an essence. It's very, very helpful and smart to use an essence that will remove the active oxygen. So one of the most well-known ingredients to be able to remove active oxygen is vitamin C. That's one of our favorites, right? But there's also another ingredient which is oxygen. And when this is supplied to our skin, this also is excellent to brighten our skin tone. Oxygen can also help to detox our skin and to cleanse our skin. And not just that, it can surpass active oxygens, which can help to prevent wrinkles and also that can help to immediately make your skin much healthier and brighter. Okay, so for the fourth tip is to upgrade your skincare routine or skincare product that has antioxidant function. Antioxidants prevent skin cell damage and it provides numerous effects for the skin. And I would have to say, especially for dual and aging skin. And a very, very popular and well-known antioxidant ingredient is vitamin E. Vitamin E removes melanin pigmentation and dual skin tone. And not to mention that it's a great ingredient to brighten your skin. And one other thing is that it removes pigmentation caused by the UV rays. So overall, vitamin E is an excellent antioxidant ingredient that is very, very effective for brightening effect. I know that we have heard this one a lot before, mm -hmm. but it's very important to use a sunscreen to protect the UV rays. Now, I know it's very annoying, but it's very important to use sunscreen to, of course, have healthy and brightened skin. Sunscreens help to prevent melanin production. This is one of the easiest and I think cheapest trick in the book to be able to wear sunscreens to prevent uh, melanin production or you know our skin being damaged by the sun so it's recommended that you try to stay indoors when it's super super sunny um, the sunniest or the time that the sun is the strongest is from 11 a.m to 3 p.m so those times if you're out and you do want some sun then we want to recommend that you wear sunglasses and a hat and in korea a lot of people use sun umbrellas too and that is one of the easiest but most effective tricks in the books to use sunscreens 
Number one, fixing minor habits. One way to easily prevent skin pigmentation is to avoid leaning on your elbows or um, sitting on your knees. You should also try to avoid clothes that fit too tightly onto your skin to lessen the friction that is on your skin. Also, rapid weight loss or gain can also cause skin pigmentation, so make sure to maintain your weight. Or if you're dieting or trying to lose weight, make sure to do it in a healthy manner. Number two, use AHA products to dissolve dead skin cells. Avoid forcibly scrubbing areas of skin pigmentation so that you can try and get it out. That's actually really, really harmful to your skin. Instead, gently exfoliate the dead skin cells on skin pigmented areas with an AHA product. Soak a cotton pad in AHA and then apply it on your skin where skin pigmentation is prominent. That way, it gets rid of the dead skin cells and maybe fade away the skin pigmentation without irritating your skin. Not only that, but it also helps to moisturize your skin as well. So it's like a two in one. Number three, moisturize after showering. So we all know that in the hot summer, our face becomes a lot more oily or it can become a lot more dry. And moisturizing can become, you know, a little bit of a chore because it's summer, you're lazy, you don't want to do it, you know, you're not really feeling it. But please, please, please do not forget to moisturize. It is so, so important because if you don't moisturize, your skin can go into overproduction mode of sebum and it can actually make your skin pigmentation worse. So please remember to moisturize your skin. Try using mild body lotion with high hydrating properties and gentle enough to use on a baby. Number four, apply sunscreen to your face and body or any other areas where skin pigmentation occurs. Your body is just as susceptible to UV rays as your face. So make sure to apply sunscreen to your body as well. Make sure to apply sunscreen to areas of your body 30 minutes before you leave the house and then try to reapply sunscreen every two to three hours or when you feel like you need it. Try to use a daily sunscreen that has SPF 40 and PA++. And it's a great if it also blocks UVA and UVB rays. Also, a sunscreen that lowers the general temperature of your skin is great as well. Number five, preventing lip pigmentation. So a lot of you guys have asked about lip pigmentation and the keys to preventing lip pigmentation are proper cleansing and moisturizing. It may be inconvenient, but your lips are just as important as your face. So just as you cleanse your face, you need to cleanse your lips as well. Also, your lips are susceptible to UV rays as well, so make sure to try and use a lip balm that has protection from UV rays. So I hope this video helped you guys out with your skin pigmentation problems and I hope that you guys can enjoy your summer days in a bikini without ever worrying about this ever again. And make sure to be on the lookout for our next video which is Teen Bible, how to protect your skin from the sun and how to choose the best skin protection product. Until then, bye bye wish trenders, see you next time!